Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our last break of the night, 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Four box, half case, random team two. Remember I marked all those random team two so we know it's all from the same case. A very big thanks to those people right there. Thank you very much. And there are the teams right here. All 30 teams are in. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Hard 10. 5 and a 5. 10 the hard way. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10th and final time. After 10, we've got Andrew down to Brett. Five and a five, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. We got the Royals down to the Orioles. After ten. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Andrew with the Royals, Chris with the A's, Brandon with the Rays, Christopher with the Red Sox, Matthew with the Yankees, Thomas with the Marlins, Oliver with the Indians, Last Spot Mojo, Nick with the Halos, Stephen K with the Padres, Steve Birch with the Giants, Brandon with the Mets, Michael Jones with the Brew Crew, Andrew with the Pirates, Brian with the Mariners, Chris F with the Tigers, Jeffrey with the Twins, Steve Birch with the Nats, Andrew, you got my Dodgers, Karen with the D-backs, Michael with the Cards, Mike with the Bravos, Brandon with the Red Legs, Zach with the Rangers. Well, the Rangers don't have a nickname, right? Brandon with the Cubbies and the Shy Sox. You got the North Side and South Side. Brandon, Nick with the Rocks, Mark with the Jays, Karen with the Phils, Matthew T with the Strohs, and Brett Myers with the O's. All right, let's sort by column B right here. We're going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading time. Oliver has the uh, the Cleveland baseball team up for trade if anybody wants that. Check your checklists and all that and trade at your own risk. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. There's a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. Big thanks to everybody here for getting into the action in our last break of the night. Random team two right here. Let's do it. So Jumbo, three autos per box. Good luck to all. Do I have enough space for this, this break? I think so. I think I can make this work, trash can wise. All right. Good luck, everyone. Maybe get some uh, MLB Network going. We've got the Bad News Bears in breaking training. All right. Let's see what this is all about. What? They, they made a sequel to this already? It's everyone's favorite baseball movie. And the, it's the off season, time to watch baseball. Actually, I usually do a big baseball movie run at, during during spring training, maybe every other other night, knock out a, a classic baseball movie. There's a lot of them. Maybe, maybe we'll do a baseball movie club next spring.
Field of Dreams is up there for me. I saw that in, uh, well, I've, I've seen it dozens of times, but they did, a few years ago, they were they did movie night at Dodger Stadium, and I, I watched, uh, went to a game and watched Field of Dreams after the game, which I thought was, was really nice. Uh, oh, that was, we'll just leave all these a little bit later, 249 out of 499, Zach Allen. Remember, the paper doesn't ship unless it's Robert Pawson or uh, Jason Dominguez or Bobby Wood Jr. All the chrome ships, though. Paper, I'm just setting aside right here. There's Bobby Wood Jr. Sumo likes Mr. Baseball. Field of Dreams always wrecks his favorite. Sandlot's up there, too. It's Chrome Bobby Witt Jr. The Sandlot's pretty good. Field of Dreams is cool. Like I said, when we, when I when I saw it at Dodger Stadium, the stadium was half empty. No one really stuck around for the movie. Everyone just left. But like when when the voice says, "If you build it, you will come," it was kind of spooky because it like echoed around in the whole stadium. Was that dark? They shut off most of the lights. And it was on the big jumbotrons in the outfield. It was Jonathan India to 125 for the Red Legs. That'll be for uh, Brandon. Kane Smith, blue paper to 150 will go to the Yankees. That'll go to Matthew Shira. I think after Field of Dreams, I would say there's a nice uh, Gerard Encarnacion for the Marlins. 009 out of 299. That goes to TB and the Marlins. Speckle parallel on this. Signed as a free agent in 2015. Homeward in the 2019 Midwest League All-Star Game. Hit 298, 10, and 43 at Clinton. I don't know what, what level he's at right now, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll see him in action this year for the Fish. We're kind of ahead of schedule this year. They looked pretty good this year, or this past season. A League of Their Own, is that's another movie that, that, I'm, that I'm into. One of my favorites. Oliver likes Major Major League is good. Major League is great. I've told this story before, but I used to watch Major League so much with my cousins, my cousins Dan and Dave when we were kids. So much so that that one of my cousins, I think it was Dave, maybe, was was we got to a point where we we're good enough where we can bleep all the curse words. So we can wa we can watch it with our when our parents were in earshot. That's a great movie, though. I don't think I really enjoyed any of the sequels. Some people say they like the second one, but not into the not into the sequels. Just the OG one. It's pretty good. There's a good. Uh, I want to say there's a good Wikipedia story on Major League, where I think they were they were talking about how they screen tested a completely different ending, which no one liked. And so they re-edited the ending to the one we know now. There's a Lency Delgado, purple chrome autograph, 213 out of 250 for the Southsiders, the Chicago White Sox. Brandon. There you go. I do not remember the last Boy Scout with Damon Wayans. Was that a was that a baseball movie?
Yeah, a little bit of the tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo for Brandon and the White Sox. The next autograph is Cooper Johnson. That's uh, Chris Fedor with the Tigers. Bob Uecker in Major League Classic. Just a bit outside. Ball four. Ball eight. Ball 12. Oh, football? That's vaguely familiar, actually, now that you say it's a football movie. There you go. Those are your three autos. Nice first box. On to the second. Realize that the the major league. I'm looking at the Wikipedia page. The major league is notable for featuring several actors who would go on to start him. Wesley Snipes and Rene Russo were relative unknowns before the movie. Huh. And Haysbert, of course, remained best known as Pedro Serrano until he portrayed the the president in the series 24, and then the Allstate commercials. That was a big one, too. Who, Dennis Haysbert? Yeah, I do think I remember that movie, Rex. I don't think I've seen it in ages, though. You... Dennis Haysbert, you're in good good hands with Allstate. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. It's very bad to steal Joe Bruce Run. I do it myself. F you, Joe Boo. That's classic. Hey, bartender. Joe Boo needs a refill. Hey, watch out. Clank. Are you trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? Come on. Let's not start a holy war in here. Jesus, I like very much. Eric Rivera. Uh, refractor autograph, 401 out of 499. That's for the Halos. That'll be for Nick Koba. Come on, Dwarn. Enough of that old ABS. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? My oh, man. I didn't realize Wesley Sipes didn't do anything before that?
And there's Anthony Volpe. Or Volpe? To 299. Speckle for the Yankees, Matthew Shira. I think he's supposed to be a pretty big prospect. Yeah, he's late first rounder. That's right. Wesley Snipes did do the fan. I remember that. That's with... Uh, he played like a Barry Bonds type player, I think. And he was stalked by... By Rob, yeah, Robert De Niro was in that movie. I don't think it ever quite lived up to the. I don't think it ever quite lived up to the hype, but people thought it was going to be a really great movie. I remember a lot of rain in that movie. There's Anthony again. To four ninety-nine. But I think they tried to get like this uh, this sort of like spooky Hitchcock in the San Francisco kind of like kind of like moody vibe to it. Maybe they shouldn't have used the Giants Oliver saying. Oh, Brad's got boxing updates for us. Looks like that's happening. Round one, Mike Tyson came out aggressive in the first round. His power is still there to an extent with Roy Jones Jr. trying to stay boxing him on the outside. Oh, Brad has, Brad, Brad's a boxing fan, but Brad has him at 10-9, Tyson. I think we need two more people to, to score this fight too. Oh, it's from ESPN. I thought you were actually scoring the final. I was like, okay. All right, Brad. Brad has him 10-9. Another Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals, Andrew. And we've got a, another autograph from a different Florida team. 003 out of 150 for the Tampa Bay Rays, Ford Proctor. Tampa Bay, that goes to Brandon. Nice blue auto. And we got an Anthony Volpe autograph. That goes to Matthew Shira and the Yankees. I think I think I heard someone say the other day that he was selling pretty nicely on the secondary market, even in the even the sort of off season baseball. There's Joe Adele. Refractor to four ninety nine. There's Dominguez spanning the globe. And a Dominguez Chrome. Oh, Anthony was selling well after the Bowman release. Yeah. I think after the initial release of this Bowman stuff, after the initial hype, there is a bit of a dip. This is really more of like a, you gotta, you gotta hold on to guys like Jason Dominguez. Get his stuff graded and then put it away in a vault somewhere and hope that he ends up being an MVP or something like that. Or better. All right, halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen, about another 20 minutes or so to go. Our last break of the night, thank you. Oh, Snoop's on the commentary? I, if I knew Snoop was commentating the Tyson fight, I would have purchased it. Wow, this Bad News Bears sequel has, there it's at the old Astrodome. Got the Astro turf in there. 
and just the dirt on the bases. I've got a Marlboro ad in the background. We'll never see that anymore in the ballpark. So Tyson still has the power, huh? Nice, Oliver. You got a you got a Dominguez Chrome from PSA. You got a ten. See now you now you just have to hold on to that. Snoop is saying it's like two of my uncles fighting at a barbecue in the backyard. Uh, I grew up in a town over from where Snoop Dogg used to live in uh, in Claremont. And apparently, I don't think I've ever. I had some friends who dro drove knew where the house was and drove by it. Apparently, it had like. At, at the gate of his house, there were, like, two, like, massive, like, Doberman statues, I think, with, the, with, with their eyes would glow red. I don't know if that was, like, I haven't seen it with my own eyes. I don't know if that was a myth or if that was true, but it sounded cool. And, uh, every so often, people would see Snoop Dogg playing, like, basketball at, the, uh, at Claremont High School and stuff. Best Tyson movie, Sumo saying Hangover. Maybe the only Tyson? Has he been in other pictures? There's Nico Hulsizer, 275. Yellow paper for the Rays. That'll be for Brandon. Yeah, that mystery shows, that animated series that Mike Tyson does is pretty good. And wow, an atomic refractor Robert Pawson, 008 out of 100, going to Chris Fedor and the Oakland A's. That's a nice hit. Nice. Right, there was a Robert Pawson autograph in the first half of this case, too, wasn't there, Oliver? That's right. Rookie, not a favorite anymore. He did it. That's really uh, there. There's that commercial with the Watt family, JJ Watt and TJ Watt, and I think Derek, right? I think those are their real parents. Sam Huff for the Rangers. Zach Paul with that one. It's pretty solid. And Wander Franco, that's, that's a good candidate for Rookie of the Year next year. If he plays consistently, that goes to the Rays. Brandon.
Robert Pawson paper. How many rounds is this uh, Tyson fight supposed to be? Are they going like a full... I don't know, 12, 12? Is that what a full boxing match is? 12 rounds? I guess so. Maybe, I mean, maybe they're not... Oh, six rounds? What? Eight rounds? What's a full round of... Of, bo of boxing. Probably tomorrow, neighborhood Nick. Schedule's in the chat. There's Ezekiel Duran. Out of two ninety nine. Another Yankee for Matthew. And that Dominguez paper as well. Also, that opulence isn't even sold out yet, neighborhood Nick, so it'll happen whenever it sells out, but not tonight. So when it's at some point tomorrow. Nick, is your volume on? Someone asked Nick, neighborhood Nick if his volume is, is on. It's not sold out yet, neighborhood Nick. Can't do it unless it sells out. How am I supposed to break it if it's not sold out? There's still 11 spots left. Or he's lagging behind. Anisha, hello. All right, last box. This is 2020 Bowman Baseball. Well, it's not sold out yet, neighborhood. Can't do it if it's not sold out. Twenty twenty Bowman baseball, Anisha. If you're if you're asking what this this thing this activity is, it's uh, we're group breaking, we're unboxing baseball cards. No, I'm actually mildly curious about the updates, Brad. I would have told you. There's Dominguez, right there. I'm mildly interested in what the what's happening in the boxing. And Anisha, if you look at our Frequently Asked Questions page on jaspiescasebreaks.com, scroll to the bottom left, you'll be able to get an idea of what all this is. There's a whole section there. Wait, so what was Prim saying? There was eight, six, eight rounds and they went the distance? ESPN updates are behind maybe? That's what Brad's sharing. We got Grant Little, to 299 speckle for the Padres. That'll be for Stephen K and the Friars. All right, thanks, Prim. Now that I'm kind of mildly invested in this in this fight now.
All right, there's uh, Maurizio Luciano to 499. Sky blue paper for Steve and the Giants. There's the Robert Pawson paper for the A's. Nice break for the A's. Chris Fedor with that. And we've got another Tiger autograph. Zach Hess, 212 out of 499. It's another one for Chris Fedor in Detroit. Is that our first autograph or our second autograph? I'm trying to keep, maybe that was our first autograph in this box. None of these boxers are looking to knock each other out, right? I don't think Tyson's out there to, to, to destroy anybody. Or I think I think second autograph of the box. That's uh, Aaron Shortridge for the Pirates. Who's got the Buckos? Andrew B. Jeremy Titman saying, "I need to get back into the basics and some traditional breaks like this." All right, yeah, you got to balance it out. You can't always do those two thousand dollar basketball boxes with only, you know, with only like a a few cards in, in, per box. The, that immaculate. And national treasures and flawless and all that. Yeah, that can really... Unless you're lucky and just get a monster hit from the get-go. Can't do those all the time. There's Reese Hoskins to 499 This is a great break, though. It's a little long, but I think there's there's a lot of value in this. Um, it's just a different kind of value, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a lot of it is just like... You get these cards, you kind of hold on to them, grade them, and hopefully these prospects turn out to be stars. I mean, that Alec Baum, maybe. Alec Baum for the Phillies to Karen. He was a NL Rookie of the Year finalist, so he had a pretty nice season. Like, basketball, you can still play the long game, but you can also play a high-value short game, too. Right, there's round the round seven update. ESPN saying 69 to 64 Tyson. I'm assuming 69 to 64 Tyson. And our final autograph is Logan Allen rookie auto 303 out of 499. That'll be for the tribe. That's going to go to Oliver last spot mojo. Strikes again, 40% of the time, 60% of the time, hits 100% of the time. There you go. And that's our last autograph of the break. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action tonight and into this break specifically. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I will see you next time. Quick recap here. Nice Robert Pawson Atomic. And there you go. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye.